Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter. But right now, we're going to talk about his live webinar. He's got a live webinar tomorrow. It's going to go from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to be a live webinar. Uh, the webinar is only $295. Now, what you get with this webinar, folks, you're not only going to get a great webinar that's archived, so you can listen to it as many times as you want. You're going to get his newsletter for a, f a full month also, and Basil has a huge amount of archives, so you really understand how to ride that wave each and every day. But we're going to get our man right now, Mr. Basil Chapman, to tell us all about it. What's going on, Basil? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. So you were talking about the, uh, the Chapman Wave methodology. So I thought I'd just make this as simple as possible. Basically, I try to identify the lowest low bar, and I count each successively higher peak. And each successively higher peak is alphabetized alphabetically in sequence, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's never an H. It's a D that other things can happen. The other thing is that I'm always looking just at three patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of the two. Here it is. Uh, this is the uh, one and three. This is straight down. It makes an arch formation, and if it fails at, at a peak A or a B, it can go below that left side low and looks like a lowercase h is red because it can go down much more. And the reverse Y is when it takes out the left side high. So we're looking at three chart patterns, and we're looking at identifying a low and then going at least four peaks higher. Let me show you the real thing. This is the proof of the pudding right here. This is the Dow chart. We went from a buy signal right at the low on the 17th. We, a couple of times we've been long, well, we've been along the, the diamonds a lot. We're still along the diamonds. And um, it went to where? It went to that little doji candle peak D. That was the objective. But I said, let's see if we can get to the left side high of 33,272 made in uh, early June. Yesterday we went to 33,109 in leg, even a little doji candle. So I'm anticipating some some kind of a, a digestive phase here. It's the same thing in the S&P. Look, here's the S&P. It made a peak E if there's no new high today, which to, it's a little too late to get there. So there it is right on the 200 period moving average. And I talk about the 200 period moving average when it comes into focus. If I don't need it, don't need it at all. And in many of our positions that we have, uh, let me just show you something very oh, interesting. I like how there. that's sitting there like that, man. Yeah. And, and so, look out. folks, and just to understand something, right? It's so cool when Basil does a live workshop because this is the, the market's live. So when he's doing his waves, you're going to see them, whether it's a minute, 10 minute, you know, 30 minute. And you can do these on daily, so it just it, you can do these now. On one you minute chart. You talk about the 200 period moving average. Look how important it is. This is the one minute chart, and look how long we've been oscillating above and below since it went to that peak E, and it couldn't get through. That was at 13.2. Uh, That's one one twenty this afternoon Eastern time. Look how important. There's that peak D. I talk about the fourth highest peak. It pulls back. There's this peak C1, C2. I also drew in. I did this this morning, actually. Look, there's the 200-period moving average. It just, it's like a magnet. And I talk about these magnet lines this morning in my show. I said, look, here's a naked chart of, of Apple. I said, well, now it's got the drawings. I said, the, the way I'm going to teach this and the way I love doing it is we take the blank chart and I say, what's the most visual thing? Well, there was this cup formation. And if you were over here, you would have been able to say, you know what, it looks to me like this could be a low, and I draw the, uh, this is called the plumb line that says yeah. there should be the same number of bars on the left to the same number of bars on the right, and lo and behold, what did Look we do? Look at how pretty that we is. We went oh right there God. to the doji candle peak D on Apple, and <laughs> there's a technique that is only uh, available in the Chapman Wave methodology where you get to a, a peak D if, within three bars, there's another new high. You can get what's called the Chapman Wave Instant Restart, which takes you to another four higher peaks, and there it is. And here's Apple. So this is an account. You can't get anything simple. That than this. symmetry is insane, lines. man. It is Isn't insane. That, I know. How does the market know to do this <laughs> symmetry? Look at how does the market know to take a trend line Seriously, and man. treat it as resistance? <laughs> and look, this is, this is over weeks uh. and weeks. It treats that trend line as support. I love that. So this is we do it live. We do it. Yeah. Uh, 
You know what's so wild, Basil? I feel like I'm right back in drafting class at Boston Tech because I love that. Do you know what I mean? And it's exactly right. And totally, man. It's like, okay, yeah. And uh, so uh, the techniques that I, I choose to use, they are, are accumulative. So it sounds like, oh, my God, what is he? You know, but if you just go one step at a time, I'm always looking at the cup or the arch formation. And look at this one-minute chart. And look how many times it's made the cup, then the arch. Look at the beautiful symmetry between the left side and the right side. Look at this on the upside. <laughs> so that's what we'll be teaching. I'll be doing this both live in the one minute, two minute, and five minute, and ten minute charts. And I'll be doing the fixed charts like we're looking at right here. Uh, and, and I'll explain how we can go. For instance, you were talking about strength. Even with this all going on right now, there's still internal strength. Well, look, if I go to the Dow, the, I love to go to time frame. So the weekly time frame you didn't even have to worry about it. You go to the daily time frame. Well, the Dow's worked very hard to get to the 200-period moving average. If that magnet keeps holding it, even if there are sharp pullbacks, but it keeps coming back, I can start saying, you know what? There's a down channel here in the weekly chart, and look, this is called the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Look how many times the price is repelled. Look how many times it was propelled. Now it's broken out, and now for two weeks, it's actually three weeks, we're just above this line, the MACD is starting to improve. The stochastics improve. So, yeah, I see I see strength. I don't see strength to break out, but I see strength in support on on, on sell-offs. And you can see that even today. Look, the Dow is only 40 points down. The S&P is down 14. There was every excuse to really get blasted, and so far it hasn't. I think they're waiting for the Fed. But you can see we're building some nice support levels. So we go time frame to time frame. Simple techniques that I use all the time. If you haven't got some, some software packages, don't have the capability to make an arch or a cup formation, but you can use straight lines. You don't have to use the arch. And, I, and most of the time, I'm drawing this in so that people can see it. I mean, I can visually see the line with, as you said, engineering school. If you're looking at these charts, you get to pick these. These pictures become very, very obvious after a while. So I go from, once again, I go from the naked chart, just bare chart, whoops, a bear shot, and yeah. we add all these different things, and you can add and subtract all the time. Where would you, like Apple right now, if you were long, I'd say you can take a little bit off just as a cushion, but it's holding very well, and then, and then there's a gap, so there's your support level. I mean, there are so many things that we'll be looking at all the time. I, I, I always say the Chapman wave is the waveform that never sleeps. That's right. Yeah. And, that, and folks, it's very easy to get in the workshop. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under the featured content. You get Mr. Basil Chapman, live all-day webinar. And remember something, folks, okay? If you can't make it live, it's archived. So you can go over it as many times as you want because you, even when you take it, you're going to want to go over it because then you really understand it and you can just look at it and understand where you are inside of the market. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. I look forward to the workshop tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much, Tom. Have a great evening. Thank you.